Good morning. It is December 31st and it's our last chance at a muley buck here in Arizona. So Kevin and I hiked up to the top of this mountain. I'm gonna glass a big basin, find a big deer, go down there and shoot him. It's that simple. But first I have to eat my breakfast burrito. Oh yeah. And I forgot my tripod. So you never really understand how important those things are until you forget it. So I'm gonna use this little guy. Lay on my belly. Do some glass. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Maverick Gas Station. Even though I had to pay him $4.49 for this burrito, I still appreciate him. Making dollars off our faith while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath for the fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck. God only Well, me and Chase have been pounding it all day long. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh, me and Chase. Okay. Chase is yelling at me to start filming him, but I'm the film myself. No, we've been looking for a mature buck all day long and it's been hot. Not so many people. We've been hiking pretty far and getting away from everybody, but we've probably seen six or seven bucks and we finally just found a mature buck. And he's got about four does. And Chase is working in pretty close right now. He's got another hundred yards and then maybe he'll be able to get a shot. So we'll see what we can see what we can get get done. So Chase got over, got up the other side, and got to the rock pile with no issues. We've watched this deer for over an hour and as soon as he peeked over and saw the buck he was under 90 yards 
one of the does decided she wanted to leave, so she drug the buck down to the bottom, which there's water in the bottom, Chase saw it. And pretty soon they all followed, but one doe, one doe stayed. So Chase is sitting there watching them, waiting for them to make a move, either come my way or something, so probably under 200 yards right now just waiting for them to make a mistake so Chase has this buck running circles around him but he won't slow down for him to get a shot he's had him at 47 yards under 100 a lot and the buck's just rutting really hard He, he took one shot and the buck didn't even skip a beat. Doesn't even know he shot at him. And right now, it's hard to tell what Chase is doing. But the buck is just standing there with the doe. They might see him. They're both looking in his direction. The other deer are clueless, but the, the buck and the other doe are just right there with him, looking at him. Man, it's been a freaking circus. Chase hasn't moved, and those things are right back, right underneath him. Okay, the buck just pushed the doe, and looks like he might be broadside to Chase. And now he's pushing her again. He's sniffing her, he just, they took a couple steps. And I can't see Chase, I'm looking through a pair of 15s and these deer are too close. So I can't see him at the same time, I don't know when he's going to shoot, if he can. <sighs> okay, the doe's turning like she's going to bugger, and the deer, the buck is getting ready to do, she just moved. The buck's turning, turning. The buck looks like he's facing dead away to chase. Now he's turning broadside, now he's broadside, I know he is. He's gotta be broadside. Come on Chase, pound him, right there. I don't know. That was fun. One last run in 2017. Got close. I drew back to no three times. Had him as close as 39 yards at one time. Kept stopping behind trees. Oh man. That's what it's all about though, it's fun. Now's our last chance. New tag starts tomorrow. <laughs> so, you already put your camera away? No. Or did you already show them? Nope. There's the price of doing business today. My scope cam. It only fell a hundred feet or so. I bumped it off in the, uh, the old, what is it, a Canon G96 went tumbling a long freaking ways. <laughs> and it's obliterated. It's not funny, but it was. <laughs> the SD card was even like this when I got down to it. And I was like, oh, should have just threw the camera. Battery's still good. <laughs> I tried turning it on, but it won't turn on. Damn it. <clears throat> okay, somewhere in the midst of transferring footage from cameras to hard drives to another hard drive to computer to editing, 
we lost half of today's footage so sorry for kind of a dud of a day but um it happens we had it on the schedule as a day of archery hunting and that's what it was it was over the counter deer in arizona actually the last day of the season and kevin and i were out giving it one more try so no luck got super close actually shot an arrow at that buck didn't get it on video but i shot him if i remember right he was like I shot him for 60 and he was like 63 or 64 and I shot just an inch or so under his belly. He didn't duck, he didn't move, he didn't do anything. And before I could get a, another arrow knocked, he walked off with his doe. But it's kind of a roller coaster, it was super thick in there, lots and lots of oak brush. And he was, I mean, he was like 37 yards at one point, but no shots. There was, I mean, he was anywhere from 37 to 100 yards for a long time and no shots so well one shot but no other clean shots but that's archery hunting it's over the counter if you haven't done it yet if you're if you're watching this from another state somewhere back east arizona is a really cool place to come and archery deer hunt so over the counter tags lots and lots of public land for you to come hunt so give it a try one of these days um it's a little slow tonight i want to give you guys one of these new logo tees this is called the thick line tee kind of a camo look to it anyway check the description see if you won one of these t-shirts and that's it guys sorry for a slow episode but come back tomorrow kevin and Brittany are hunting javelinas here in arizona and it's a pretty cool episode so you won't want to miss it Swing on by. This is our, this is where we do the quick and dirties here. Cameras, lights, all that stuff. No whiskey tonight, but we'll be doing a Q&A pretty soon. So thanks again. See you tomorrow.